Hello everyone. Early this weekend, um, I forget whether it was late Friday or early Saturday, I posted a comment on Twitter saying that Halcyon's latest bid was, I basically called Poe's Law on it. I said it was either trolling, it was either an attempt to imitate a fundamentalist denunciation um, without specifying what kind of fundamentalism, or it was what it appeared to be, and it it sucked. And I got a little flag from that, which I don't give a shit about. It was amusing, though. Some of you people really, really, really need not to bash my masculinity while leaving me even bigger sticks to hit you back with. You really do. Just saying. But it was fun, so thank you. Um... I just want to go real quick and point out what exactly my problems were. First of all, he opens up the vid saying that there is no conflict between science and religion, that anyone who says there is does not know what either one of them is. Well, let's just take one, science, and say that if you make falsifiable claims which are false, you are definitely definitely in conflict with science. And let's go a little further and say that if you have if you make claims that cannot be falsified and posit them as true, then you are operating entirely outside of science and if you attempt to base other things on those claims, then you are even further being separating yourself from science. Now, to one degree or another, we all do this, just because you can't prove an axiom. It's just not possible. So, all of us do this to one point or another, but to throw out hundreds of years of conflict between science and religion, as far as truth claims goes, and to throw out thousands of years of conflict between the the religious and the secular, and say that, to pretend that these things, this doesn't exist, is mind-boggling. So now that we've gone through the first 10 seconds of the video, let's move on. He then goes on into a rather interesting history of Venom Fang X's time on YouTube, in which he completely neglects to mention that the first time Venom Fang X left YouTube, Venifang X's website was taken down with a little a little banner saying that we are Venifang X's parents and we, we or Sean's parents or whatever and we do not agree with his views and yada yada yada. So there was a vested interest as far as his parents go. And there was a prior history of him coming onto YouTube and doing shitty things. And saying that they got him on this call and forced him to humiliate himself is kind of stupid because, well, the last one, the last part of the call was posted, the wrap-up, you know, the cherry on top was posted on Sean's account. So either Sean humiliated himself, his father humiliated him, or somebody hacked into his account and humiliated him. Now, which was it? You know, just... To reiterate, the the be-all, end-all wrap-up of that situation was posted on the Venom Fang X account. So you're an idiot, as far as that goes. Second, as far as just the drive-by mention of fact versus religion, who was just there, yeah, yes, yeah, she is an anti-theist. All right. But the mention of her, did you only partially mention her because it didn't fit in with... Uh, poster boys for atheist stupidity or because you didn't have anything you really wanted to say about her or just because she was a convenient target or were you just trying to strive for a kind of accuracy you hadn't managed to achieve before? I'm just curious. You know, just asking questions. <laughs> Lastly, you bring up, at least on this point, you bring up Jordan Owen, Jordan Owen 42, and say he audaciously called Sean's father and as I said before, considering there was a notice saying Sean's parents, you know, have taken down this website, um, 
that's not an audacious call. That's an intervention, just like the phone call with Thunderfoot and DPR Jones. And oh, by the way, do you know how many psychoanalysis videos about Sean there were on YouTube while this was going down? All right, you might as well bring down me, Phil Hollands. Uh, never mind. A fucktoad of people. A fuckload. Sorry, I'm tired. More coffee. Jesus, you pissed me off. Um, a lot of people were doing them, but you chose him because you wanted to underscore your um, poster boys for atheist stupidity. But Jordan Owen actually had a wonderfully productive conversation with Sean's father, a painful one in which they worked out some serious shit. And by painful, I mean for Sean's father. And apparently Jordan was very respectful because a statement was issued jointly by Jordan Owen and Sean's father about the situation. So apparently they came to some kind of agreement. And lastly, well, the whole thing about Thunderfoot and Dawa films... You know, I kind of agree on agree with you there, and I agree with what your commenter, you know, the, your contributor said. I mean, Ali's quote from Malcolm X, you know, beautiful. You know, the uh, let me see the the statement by Together for Peace, great stuff. You know, but what you said, this is where I really thought it was a parody because you had the nice, happy clouds and everything when you were talking about and being all nice and self righteous. And you had the thermonuclear cloud when you were being angry and yada, yada, yada. And it reminded me of Thunderfoot's Bible series and his rant about that education thing. And Dude, do you watch your videos before you send them? I mean, I'm not going to watch this one because I'm not editing it and because I'm just ranting at you. But damn, you put some work into that and you made yourself, in my opinion look exactly like what you were trying to condemn. You really did. And then you say, I'm, I'm just calling you a troll on Twitter. No. You were acting like a self-righteous buffoon. And if I haven't demonstrated how, by your revisionist history, by your selective interpretation of the facts, by your willful forgetting of facts that are inconvenient to you, I don't know how I can. Thank you for your time and attention.